Naturally, we are so good at hiding our dark side. So I want them to feel it and connect with it so that when they finish, they're new, they're healed, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Hibo Tep, but my real name is Hibo Elmi. It means the gifted one slash knowledge. I'm a DJ producer, a poet. I design, I make videos. I like to do multiple things to express myself and I try not to limit myself in how I can communicate with people. What I do is I understood every music has a moment of silence and a moment where it comes down and I try to connect those points together without judging the BPM or being very consistent. And most of my sets, I kind of do improvise because I try to read the energy I am in, uh, how I'm feeling, how the people are feeling and how welcome they are. Also try to surprise myself and not be biased in what I'm going to play. No genre is off the limits, you know. <laughs> like this, improv, energy and just going with the flow. Nyege Nyege is a growing family. We all support each other. There's no competition. Nobody is greater than the other. Everyone wants to promote and lift each other up. We dance for each other. We sing for each other. We play each other's music. That's the energy we provide. It's like, I got your back, you got my back. And the energy is consistent for all of us. Everyone's welcome. It's a free expression of human beings and everyone is together. That's Nyege Nyege. At the beginning, I did not like to work with people because I have anxiety. So I always didn't like working with people because I don't know how I'm going to be that day. But two years ago, I got invited to collaborate with some artists. And uh, the energy they gave me was, whatever you do, we follow that energy. So don't worry and we collaborate, we follow each other. And I noticed the power of collaboration was like bringing a bigger force together and now I love collaborating. I'm not scared to do it. And recently I went to Germany. I did my first live vocal with the percussion drummers and the synth players from Nyloxica. And that collaboration brought my spirit back and I would love to do more. And now I'm a collaborator, I guess, yeah. I'm originally Somali and it's called Land of the Poets. And our people lived in oral tradition. Poetry was a way of like uh, communicating whether it's about life, about poverty, about religion, about love. So our people, even they used to speak to each other like back and forth by using like poetry. So it's embedded in our blood. My mom was a poet and she archived and collected a lot of poetry that was about to be lost in our country. So I wanted to honor that and be part of that so that it doesn't die in my generation also. I usually write in English because that's my strongest language. And uh, writing in Somali is very tricky because they have a system. The first word you use has to uh, rhyme with the last word. The first and the last has to cha-cha, you know? And it's very difficult when you don't know all the words and all the vocabulary. So I mix all, the, all of them together. But recently I started um, doing more Somali vocals because I understood it resonates more with my internal spirit. That uh, language is more um, attached to my soul. Yeah. So now I'm getting into the Somali poetry. I didn't care about ancestors when I was like younger, but when my mom died, I wanted to know where she's going. So it opened a door for me to know that, well, she's now my ancestor. She's not just my mom, she's no longer here. So I was like, I need to find a way to communicate with her. And then I came up with a concept called industrial shamanism, using modern sounds with traditional or like shamanic voices and connecting the two. But it started one day when I was sitting outside, I was very sad. And then I heard my mom's voice and he said, can you hear me? And I was like, shit, how can I say yes, I can hear you? So I did a song called Pink Enlightenment. 
And then it's me chanting to her, I can hear you, waku makla, waku makla, waku makla. And then that's when I said, okay, I need to connect the dots. And you open a portal for me. I am now more in touch and I feel like they're always protecting me. I'm with my ancestors every day. Some people can tap in, they can connect to different parts of their emotions and create something related to that. But some people, they have to feel a certain way to make a certain type of music. Taylor Swift, she has to be broken up to make music. <laughs> and Adele, she has to be in pain to make music or drunk, you know? But some people, they know how to connect and remember the feeling. So me, I feel like I can get there. I can remember something and just get there. But my music is mostly dark because I want people to connect to that part of themselves. Because naturally, we are so good at hiding our dark side. So I want them to feel it and connect with it so that when they finish, they're new, they're healed, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for instance, if you're a Nigerian, you don't need to travel to become big because their government um, gives them money or supports them in the art industry. For some African countries, they don't get the support that they deserve or need. So they get like a fan base when they get out. They're like, oh wow, like this one made it. Oh, now we can listen to them. And that's the ugly truth. And I, I think it's kind of necessary for our artists to step out and be heard. And also the type of music we're making is not like popular where we are. They listen to top 100, da 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 da. So I think at the moment, yeah, we need to expand. And also, in the contrary, when we come to Europe, it's a bit cold because we come from a very welcoming, homely, hey, how are you, like, ah, energy, I see you, you see me, energy. So when we come here, I think we're just trying to also preach to the people that we can share the room, that we're not so different. We move to the same rhythm, you know? So I think we both need each other. Yeah, on a rap, I'm no more time to see to me, you on a ski, I'm Ziggy Lebo, so I'm a motor, come